Throughout this video, I'll show you how to create an amazing horizontal scrolling website. Let's get straight into it. Before we get started, let's have a look at a few examples to take inspiration from whilst we're creating our horizontal scrolling website. So the first one we've got is this site here. So we can create something similar on our website and we'll be using Gutenberg to do this for free, right? So this is pretty straightforward, really. We've just got a header here. We've got some image and the same again, we've got some image and some text. So there's no reason why we can't replicate something like this. Let's have a look at a different example, right? So we've got a header section and here we've just got some text we've got some image more text right okay so this looks great okay so let's see if we can pull off something similar on our wordpress website so let's head over to our dashboard let's navigate to plugins and then add new we'll be using a free plugin we'll be using webex and we'll go ahead and install this particular plugin here you can get the pro version as well which has got some additional features which you might need if Right, so you can go ahead and test out the pro version as well if you want for features such as continuous vertical scroll or even horizontal scrolling. Okay, so we've got the plugin activated. Let's go ahead and create a new page. Let's click add and I'm going to open this up here and we just need to search for WebEX, which is this one here. Okay, so essentially we'll be creating our design all our design within this block. Well, at least the design you want to scroll horizontally anyway. Realistically, you could add um, normal content above and below it. And then when they get to this section here, it'll vertically scroll and then it will continue to scroll horizontally. So you could create something similar like that, all right? So let's add a new section. Okay, and then we can add a slide. Let's enter in our block. And for this, I'm just going to select patterns here and i'm gonna add a featured section so let's add something like let's add something like this okay let's expand our navigation and our section so let's add another slide so let's just duplicate this okay and then for the content i'm gonna actually delete this so this is our second slide right let's delete this column as well let's click add let's browse I'm gonna select patterns again Let's select this one. Okay, so this looks fine so far. So we can customize um, the functionality as well of, so when we click on it, and um, when we go to block, we can see some extra options here, such as the style type. We've got continuous scrolling, which I mentioned earlier. A lot of these do need a pro version for, but we're fine for now. So let's hit page, right? So for the page template, we wanna go ahead and select this WebEX. So let's publish this and let's see how it looks. Let's view our page, okay and the user can just click next and it will continuously take them through the slide right so if you want users to scroll vertically and then it automatically switches the slide right then you do need a pro version for that right so you get the idea when we head back over here we can add numerous amount of slides and this is just great for storytelling right so if there's a particular story or client work that you want to betray then this is an excellent way to present that information Right, so we can add some new content here. Let's just add some text this time. I can subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.